Thank you, Madam Chair, Commissioner Hart, dear colleagues. The IPA funds, the IPA funds are investments which contribute to both the accession countries and to the Union. While these funds help our partners to implement political and economic reforms, they also help the EU to reach its objectives regarding a sustainable economic recovery, energy supply, transport, environment and climate change. The modern sector approach of IPA II promotes structural reform that helps to transform a given sector and reach the EU standards. The ECA assessment of the pre-accession assistance to Turkey showed that it has been well designed but encountered difficulties in supporting sector-wide reforms. Assessing the implementation in freer priority sectors, the rule of law, governance and human resources reveals a mixed picture. Despite the difficulties in the implementation of IPA in Turkey, it is indisputable that without this program for our partners, it will be more difficult to fulfill EU membership obligations and support the political reforms, economic, social and territorial development. Concerning the use of conditionality related to the implementation of IPA, there is a need to assess what would be the impact of the pre-accession fund if negotiations are suspended. In this case, under IPA 2, there are no explicit provisions for suspensions of the funds. Thank you.